And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Juchung Tyrannus, which was a request from Real McCoy's 9 VR Patreon and Discord. So thanks. Juchung Tyrannus was a Tyrannosaur theropod that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Shandong province in China. It looked similar to Tyrannosaurus, and it had powerful jaws and small arms with two fingers on its hands. It was found in the Xinga Zhuang Formation. Juchung Tyrannus was large and carnivorous. It's estimated to have weighed up to six short tons. The type and only species is Juchung Tyrannus magnus. It was described in 2011 by David Hone and others, and the genus name means Juchung Tyrant. So the genus name refers to the type locality, Juchung City. And the species name means great in Latin because it's so large. Mm, like, what is it, Magnus Cum Laude? Magna Cum Laude? Same Magnus? I suppose, but usually that has to do with college degrees and distinctions, not size. Well, I was thinking like it was a great, like you were one of the greats of your class. That might be what that means. Magna Cum Laude means with great honor. Oh, okay, cool. So it is the same great. I guess, but since they named it great because of its size, I feel a disconnect. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Dave Holm wrote on his blog, he's not fond of place name Saurus type names. <laughs> and he wrote, quote, some of us are born with bad names for dinosaurs. Some achieve bad dinosaur names. And in this case, some have bad names thrust upon them. So apparently he didn't want to name it Juchung Tyrannus. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> The fossils of Juchung Tyrannus were found in 2009 while a construction crew was digging foundations for a museum. The holotype includes a nearly complete right maxilla, the upper jaw, and left dentary, the lower jaw, and both have teeth. It's interesting. It's got the upper jaw from one side and the lower jaw from the other side. Yeah. It's now housed at the Juchung Dinosaur Museum. Oh, and there's a cast at the Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleoanthropology. The maxilla was damaged during handling, but the cast was made and it was photographed before the accident. So they know what it looks like before the damage. There's no broken bones or signs of pathologies. Juchung Tyrannus was probably an adult or near adult, and that's based on its size and characteristics that are seen only in adult tyrannosaurs, such as heavy sculpting on the maxilla. The maxilla was 25 inches, or 64 centimeters long, and the dentary was about 31 inches, or 78 centimeters long. Two adult T-Rex specimens have maxilla that are 1 and 2 centimeters longer, and Sue the T-Rex has a 79 centimeter long maxilla. Yeah, so a really almost T-Rex size there. Yeah. Also, Tarbosaur specimens range from 19 inches, or 49 centimeters, that one's probably a juvenile size, to 29-ish inches or 73 centimeters long. And a few of them are in the low 20s and in inches or 60s in centimeters. So this is bigger than that. Yeah, so it's in between. It is hard to know, though, the exact size of Ju Chung Tyrannus. Yeah, comparing jaws isn't really the, <laughs> the gold standard for size estimates of animals. Yes, but the Dentry of the holotype is a bit smaller than most T-Rex specimens and a bit bigger than most Tarbosaur specimens. And based on maxilla, the holotype is about the same as or in between Tyrannosaurus and Tarbosaurus. So, taking those factors into consideration, Juchung Tyrannus is estimated to be between 33 to 39 feet or 10 to 12 meters long. Juchung Tyrannus had unique features in its skull. There's subtle features in how the fenestrae, fossa, and other parts of the skull are organized. Near the front of the fenestra on the maxilla, so that hole on the snout, there's a rounded notch, and there's a horizontal shelf on the lateral surface of the base of the ascending process of the maxilla. That's that part that's going up from the upper jaw. Hone also said there's probably a lot of Juchung Tyrannus fossils that have been collected, but they're isolated, and so far it's hard to distinguish it from another tyrannosaur that was found in the area. And that tyrannosaur is thought to be a different kind of tyrannosaur from Juchung Tyrannus because the teeth are different. So for now, they can only for sure point to the two skull pieces that were found together as belonging to Juchung Tyrannus. A second dentary and a second maxilla was found at the same site in the Zhangjia Zhuang quarry, and that's different from Juchung Tyrannus which means that there's probably at least one other tyrannosaur from the area, though it's not yet named. And that other tyrannosaur, the teeth have serrations that go all the way to the base of the tooth crown. That's what makes it different. Extra serrations? Yep. 
Now, Hone wrote on his blog around the time of publication, quote, while 2010 was celebrated as the year of ceratopsians for many, it should not be overlooked the huge number of tyrannosaurs that have cropped up in the last year or so. <laughs> Typical tyrannosaur lovers. <laughs> <laughs> Juchung Tyrannus was the second tyrannosaurine from China that was found, and it probably overlapped with Tarbosaurus. There's no direct evidence, but the fossils were found near each other in terms of time and space. A phylogenetic analysis in 2013 found Juchung Tyrannus to be the sister taxon of Tarbosaurus. Both of them are tyrannosaurines, and suggested that Juchung Tyrannus and other known tyrannosaurids in Asia were part of an evolutionary radiation. That's a rapid increase in the clade's diversity. And that came from the same North American stem that led to Tyrannosaurus. There seems to be a trend of multiple species of large carnivorous dinosaurs living at the same time and place. They probably fill different ecological niches. Ju Chung Tyrannus was probably a mix of a predator and a scavenger. Like essentially all big carnivores? Yeah. Having so many large carnivores around each other may have been actually more of the norm. The comparison was Spinosaurus in the Chem Chem beds. Stromer's riddle. Mm -hmm. But what's unusual then is that doesn't seem to be the case for Tyrannosaurus rex. In the Hell Creek formation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Unless Dakota Raptor was all over the place or something. But Dakota Raptor was, fair, was quite a bit smaller. Yeah, that's true. Juchung Tyrannus fossils were found in what used to be a floodplain. The dinosaurs probably washed together during floods and then fossilized. And it's found in one of the highest concentrations of dinosaur fossils in the world. Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place include Cynoceratops, Hadrosaurids, probably Shantungosaurus, and Ankylosaurs. Hooray! For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash inodino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 